When Clyde Butch's son was killed by a drunk driver, the wilderness seemed to call out to him. The mysterious spiritual experience of being close to nature helped restore his soul. A nationally recognized conservationist, Clyde Butcher uses his stunning photography to preserve our natural environments. He developed an interest in photography when he was 10 years old. Later, while in college, he took it seriously. Because I was in architecture, I couldn't draw very well. So I was making architectural models and photographing them. So that's how I really got into it, to survive school. Clyde moved from California along with his family to Florida. Clyde found a new world seemingly untouched by human hands. The Everglades was the perfect place where he could be alone, absorbing nature's fullness through a spiritual connection. It was nature that told him when the time was right to capture the image. You can feel this when you view his work. When people come to this exhibit, I want them to be able to feel like they're there. And that's why I like these pictures large, so you, you feel one with the photograph. The intimate beauty of the environment is the way Clyde explains it. He is dedicated to using his art form as an inspiration for others to work together to save nature's places of spiritual sanctuary for future generations. When you're experiencing these, you say, wow, I want to go there. I want to see the real thing. And that's what I'm trying to do here is to educate people that the environment is really important. And they need to actually experience it themselves. And not, uh, the photographs are nice. We're in air conditioning. There's no bugs, you know. But there's nothing like experiencing the real thing uh, for yourself. Clyde shoots in the large camera format and in black and white exclusively. Uh, most of these were taken at least with an 8x10 camera. But to do what I do, my dark room is 2,000 square feet. You know, my enlargers are huge. I mean, the whole system is, well, it's basically the same thing they were doing in the Civil War. Uh, California, one of my favorite spots where I started the whole thing was Yosemite. In fact, that's where I'm going next week is back to Yosemite photograph some more. Uh, and also, I dated my wife there, so it has a lot of interesting memories. Nikki works with Clyde on most of his shoots, and she has her own perspective on photographing nature. When we go out photographing together, it is pure pleasure to me because with large format cameras, you have to take time. You can't just snap the picture and walk to the next place. You have to set the camera up and wait for the wind to stop, wait for the light to be right. So you actually get to experience the nature that you've come to enjoy. And for me, that's a pure pleasure because I don't have to be so totally alert as to what's going on. I can sort of walk around and look at the flowers and the bumblebees and the butterflies. And to me, it is fantastic because I'm out in nature. So I really, really love it. This picture is like the famous view of Yosemite. This is called Inspiration Point. And this is where I first really fell in love with the idea of photographing nature. And it's a pretty powerful place, I mean, to go and see. It's very dramatic and uh, very sensual. This is a family business. Clyde's daughter, Jackie, and her husband, Neil, are also part of the team. Neil assists Clyde in the darkroom, while Jackie is the administrator of museum exhibits and the event coordinator. And we're having people fall in love with the environment through his photography. And before he started, people didn't even know about the Everglades. They, 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 they didn't even realize how beautiful it was. And it's, it's precious, and it's something we, all, we need to save. And we're hoping through Clyde's artwork and through his photography, we can help educate people and help them fall in love with the environment through his artwork. Clyde has not finished photographing America and would prefer to shoot here. Actually, you know, people ask me, am I going to go to the Amazon, go to Africa? I think the United States is pretty nice. I've got so many places in Florida that I haven't photographed, much less the rest of the United States. I'll never be able to photograph everything I want to just here in America. He is a true conservationist and is presently working on a project to restore the Everglades. Elam and I are working on a Kissimmee project uh, explaining the Kissimmee Valley and the restoration between the water management and the ranchers and the people that live there. And this is uh, one of the main steps in restoring the Everglades is to get the water clean at the headwaters. And I'm also working on a, 
another photo, this is myself, a photographic project of the, Ever, of the whole Everglades system, starting at Disney World down to the mangroves. Winner of numerous awards, his Wilderness Visions of America project is presently on exhibit at the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale. The Museum of Science in Fort Lauderdale is really helping to educate the kids and also the grown-ups. Because, you know, we, people forget about educating grown-ups sometimes. So it's important to educate both, and there's so many things to do here, and they're expanding it the next year and a couple of years. It's going to be really a, a pretty fantastic museum for Florida. And people forget that the Earth is round, and everything we do comes around and goes around. And I'm really concerned now with global warming, and there's a lot of things we can do. So that's one of my main environmental things is to get the uses down of, of the energy so we can save our beautiful planet. For more information on Clyde Butcher, log on to ClydeButcher.com.